right here and since it's quiet right now I might as well do a video since it's like six something in the morning <laughs> and I'm up so this here had a uh, was it twenty percent discount coupon, and since um, this is a uh, collab between J Diction and Steve McDonald, so do check out check him out on YouTube or at least on Instagram too. I think um, it's very lovely resin and in general crafter that I watch on YouTube and I thought as well as to support he did do an opening with his own kit and I like the stuff that I saw in it and I wanted to give it a shot. I haven't tried any J Diction yet because I still had myself some leftover uh, selfie and toffee from my uh, Harry Potter kits I need to use at first but I wanted to try out J Diction because he recommends it to be very good and well I do enjoy watching his videos a lot <clears throat> I've got two YouTube channels by the way I'll leave both of them uh, I link to both of them in the description box below so it's just ultimate shaker and jewelry kit enjoy your resin and buy properties for craft so this is just a round down box. Mm. Yeah, just I don't know. I don't know if you really need to see that, but J Diction and UV and Epoxy Resin Kit. So it has all sorts of stuff inside. So let's have a peek what it is. So that's what it looks like from the top. All sorts of stuff. So many goodies in this packet. So I'll open that in a second. And we have the, uh, uh, I'm guessing for extra protection. Wait a minute. I'm guessing the other. Well, let's do this first because it's out in the open. Here's a part A and part B. Crystal clear, self-leveling, non-flammable, resist yellowing, no VOCs, and low odor. The two-part epoxy resin. Mix equal parts resin and harden it by volume. So, Mr. For three to five minutes. Add any pigments and stir until thoroughly mixed. Optional. Pour over object, the coating, or into a mold. Max cast size is six ounces. Use a torch or heat gun on low. Eight. In from the surface. I think it's supposed to be at the surface or in front. So in from surface to remove both of them. Oh, eight inches from surface. That makes sense now. It would be more sense if the inches were those two lines or spelt out full because we use one new line anyway. That would have been a tiny bit more sense. Or the inches, or if there was no space between eight and the iron, then I think it would make more sense. That's, a, that's just me being nitpicky, I think. Cover and let cure for 24 hours before demolding. Cure time, 24 to 48 hours. 
Warp time 30 to 40 minutes. Mix ratio 1 to 1 by volume. Danger. I can protect skin irritant. Do not swallow. Do not get an eyes. Throw on skin or clothing. Keep out of reach of children. Wear safety glasses and rubber gloves. Very important part. But I do like it's one to one because it's so fantastic. One is like one to three or something, which I don't really like trying to work that out. But is it one to two? Anyway. So this is the epoxy resin. Alright, so there. Well, let's see what's in here. We got some like stirring. And like a mini, like kind of scoop. This is that is a more sharper, kind of like a, kind of like a toothpick kind of end there. Kind of like a scalpel end. These two, but anyway. So that's with this. So nice silicone mixing tools. We have got a little mini silicone mat, shiny side thing, so like the shiny side down stops the dead, so less um, what's it called? movement. Uh, two mixing pots. Oh, this is the mini mini sun lamp or nail lamp, however you wish to call it. Script for the box. And let's see what else is in here. We got a nozzle as well as to go on the top. Here is the NJ Diction and Steve Gold UV Resin Hard Type. It's a very nice rainbow sticker. And so that's this. So it's uh, like doubly protected inside the light box because you know, you want to get some light in it. Yeah. So just can briefly just put that. Um, we have, I'm guessing this is gloves, then we have a UV resin kit with light user manual, ah. package includes one J Diction 100 grams UV resin, one UV light, USB cable type C, 
two stirring sticks, two mixing cups, one silicone mat, and one disposable gloves. Excuse me. Anyway, see, there you have it. That's what's in here. Gun operation guide, tips for making. Pause if you wanted to read that. The thickness of the DIY handicraft you want to make exceeds one centimeter, please perform the UV irradiation five to eight times to achieve the best effect. Avoid using a trifling. Okay, so with excessive voltage, and you do not allow anything to enter the light. Do not look directly at the rays and expose your under for a long time. It may cause skin damage. After completing, please do not touch the surface of your items. With your hands immediately, to avoid fingerprints. Hold down about 5 to 8 minutes before demolding. Try some viewers and not read for children to avoid accidents. Please be stored at room temperature, sealed and protected from light. After using UV resin, the bottle cap should be capped and tightened immediately to prevent excessive air from entering. Turn off power when you leave. <laughs> so you can make jewelry with earrings, rings, pendants, etc. Small art objects, keychains, small silicone molds, brooch badges, etc. Wood art. Use your creativity to make more types of DIY handmade projects. Contact us for any solution with any questions. Alright, so that was on the last page. Okay, little well, handy little thing. Uh, let's see, this is drawn on this side. Oh. And this is a very A4 sheet of clear casting and coating epoxy resin. Please read and complete instruction. Complete instruction for starting your project. Full cures three to seven days. Demold and tack free time is 24 to 48 hours. It's got good casting instructions, good instructions, minimizing bubbles, events, tips. One year in unopened containers, best stored in a dry place in the box and out of direct sunlight. Direct light, ideal storage. Temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Be handy if that was in Celsius, but okay. Work in a dust free environment with good ventilation and temperature between 70 to 80 Fahrenheit. I have no idea what that is. Huh. Later. Um, extremely difficult to remove some clothes, carpet, and other porous materials. While in liquid form, use rubbing alcohol, mineral spirits, or other mild solvents to clean up. Mm. In order for resin to properly the shelf life mm. and fully across the surface, self level, <laughs> get ready. Um, you must pull a generous amount of resin onto the surface. For large surfaces, we recommend coating no more than three square feet at a time. Sticky, soft, or tacky spots result in off ratio or inadequate mix. Make sure you have measured resin accurately by volume and equal parts. And make sure to slowly mix material thoroughly until absolutely no squirrels can be seen. Do not use any water-based dyes for your activities. You need dry filling and be added to achieve different appearances. Hmm. 
so one year. What should we do? Can some tea this whole year if I craft a lot? Um, yeah. I'm gonna mine some bubbles. Mainly because we mix. Well, when you mix it. Or it'd be possible I can react with the surface when we. Nature is coated, so we need to keep the surface clean and completely dry. Mix with thick, slowly, carefully, and thoroughly. After pouring each side into a mixing cup, let resin sit for a few minutes to allow some of the air bubbles to rise. Surface. Rinse out the surface to the stir stick. Move the bubbles to the side of the cup and puff slash crush. If you see tiny bubbles while the resin is still wet, you can use a torch or heat them on a level 8 inches from the surface to remove bubbles to not attempt. Take the epoxy, it can catch fire. Even though it does say non flammable on there. But okay. If you have a large air bubble, use a pin or needle to get the air out. Do this well before resin starts to set, or it can mar the finish. Use a drill to remove bubbles after the epoxy has hardened. Apply a second coat to resin to get a gloss. Glassing, same as fresh. I would have put it in gloss if it was good. What if the word would be glossing in the resin? It's basically it. Nice. So those are the two instructions. There. So let's get on to opening this lovely bag of goodies. You can already see we got wafers. This is nice. I don't know how I'd be able to get this all back in the bag. But that was, let's have a look at all the goodies that come inside. Shall we? It's nice. Plastic. Um little containers of silver and gold leaf. Will it focus? Yes. So shiny. Oh, really lovely. So that's that. Hmm. Classy. We got some 30 ml, I guess, Little measuring cups. The technically, what does he call them? Tall glasses. Anyway, these have a 30 ml's. The Y one side says 22.5 ml's. 27.5 ml's. I guess we got 25 on one side. The other side was 5 to 30. The other side was 7.5 to 27.5. Okay. So that's that. Let's see what some smaller bits are. We got some more gloves. We have some little rings. We got some earring and bits. We got some like I guess necklace cord. We got some big D rings for key rings. Um, more gloves. That looks good. Mm-hmm. 
right there. And then we have this lovely selection of uh, sequins. That's nice. We got some blue stars, some pink hearts, some. This is just normal blue glitter. I don't know. Got some silver stars. Got some. What are they? Just white. Some normal sequins. I think it's kind of like a magenta. Is that supposed to be gold? I can't tell. Then we have some pink dolphins, some soccer flowers, blue hearts, like an orangey ready kind of stars, pink stars, and just normal white glitter, I think. And we got some. Interesting, it's pink dolphins, not blue ones. But anyway, I like the soft pink flowers so in the corner there. But that's it. And here we have some. I guess it's glitter. I don't think it's my color. Yeah, it's glitter. Yeah. Glitter. Very lovely. Put it on my hands already. Oh. Mm. We've got two of these. Let's say this. For scooping and stirring. I mean, that's pretty thick. So I guess this is kind of a stirrer type of thing. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I'm just. Now that you have it. And then add more stuff. Then we have a hand drill with a few little drill bits. And then we have some pigment, liquid pigment. We got some green, red, blue, and purple. So a nice little variety. We have some Clear plastic, kind of like acetate, kind of just like a plastic uh, yeah. sheet for the shaker mold. And just put that there. And finally, we want the mold. I like to know a sealed plastic bag in here. Two big ones and two shaker molds. 
I'll do two small ones first. Here we have a rocket and a skull. And this one's on the back. So I can already fill in, then you'll have this cavity here to fill in with your sh shaker solution or just dry fit sequins or whatever. You know, same with this. Fill like in inside the eyes. Then you just cut out shape of that, stick it on, or on that side, with some like UV resin, and then shake away. And also you can tell it's shakeable because in these molds you have like a tiny space there which they leave you to fill in after because you get a little mini needle with a bottle and you, know, you know, squeeze in the shaker real quick. So that, that's these two. Then we have these. Very cute little Extra bit of silicone <laughs> for like how does it get dust or black bits when it's in a sealed packaging? That's just strange. So it's like a black dot. I need to get rid of. But anyway, for like key rings or earrings, you know, that's cute. And this is the second one. Bracelet, you know, the whole shebang. So it should be fun to make stuff. <laughs> so that is everything in this kit. I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff. And see, retail is around fifty something pounds. Or so. And I managed to find a 20% off voucher for it. Well, so that was very lovely. But yes, all sorts of goodies inside this kit. It's a very jam packed kit, let me tell you that. <laughs> so I think. Uh, extra item would be like along with the, the resin kit manual to be like a entire kit contents checklist, you know, so you know what's what everything is. Always like a little booklet and like similar to the manual, just how to use, you know, and like the optional amount of drops to use or you know stuff like that. I don't technically think it really matters. You just put in more drops, the more, I guess, opaque or concentrated you want the color to be. That was my guess. You know, similar how you use for coloring in icing. You get to use however many particular desired color for. Um, and it's very handy. I do have more of like disposable plastic ones. Those ones are more of the, uh, what are they? Not, you know, not easy. Not easy. But 
I'm guessing it's not latex gloves. That's my guess. But uh, yes, that is everything. It's awesome. I'm going excited to create some stuff. Um, let's see. I don't know whether I'm gonna put like a little mini clip of you know stuff. Uh, because I use, I uh, make my resin um, technically uh, in my bathroom because it has a window right there and I have like you know all my projector board and stuff in there. I don't actually use my desk. <laughs> Which seems counterproductive because it's a nice bigger space but um yes I I use a mini uh movable table in my bathroom because it has a door so I don't get the rest of my room stinky and a window right there so and obviously as you can see up there is the window there but I can't reach it because my desk is pretty you know long ways so yeah So yes, that's everything I've just been jabbering on. I'm excited to start making something soon. I actually did recently buy some silicone mold spray, which he uses when he does his, you know, when he paints on mica powder or something onto the molds to make it stick better. And, um, yeah. I've got some mica powders so and and other coloring pigments I got for my Christmas present for my sister, so I'm excited to start making something. And I, I kept these like bits from packaging and stuff of uh, blind boxes or you know cardboard bits, you know random stuff. And yeah, to put into my resin. So, yeah. I keep random junk. Anyway, but uh, yeah. I've got some cheap small bits, uh, like some doubles of bits, and like one more as well. Not really, I'm rambling. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the door for notifications. Bell will up.